all recap on Tuesday again. Obviously. Um, pretty much it's the raw of the WrestleMania. And the reason why we haven't done our WrestleMania thing is because that was way too long. Yeah, we're just trying to get to the point where we're gonna get it. Yeah. Anyways, let's just get to the Monday night. Yes. Um, so this would be a spoiler for anybody who had for uh, for the WrestleMania. So um, Rollins starts off Monday Night Raw. Saying that he slayed the beast and all that. Yeah, and saying we did. Which was a which was a freaking easy match. Yeah, saying um, we deserve it. Um, he waited a long time to hold the title. He took a suplex. He took an F five. He got dragged all over, but he got back up. And everybody's like saying full time champ chat chants. Then the new day comes out. And he's saying something about. Brock has to a meeting at Vegas and may, tell him he can stay at Vegas. And then he's going to be a proud champion. And then all of a sudden, New Day comes out. Kofi Kingston. And they're saying that they came out to Raw because, well, they couldn't wait till SmackDown. But Kofi's, like, congratulating Seth and he's congratulating himself. And then he ends up suing, saying, well, Becky, Becky has both titles. So I challenge you to a winner take all match tonight, and Rollins just and Rollins accepts it. Accepts he it. Accept it. And then the first match of Monday Night Raw was for the Raw Tag Time. It was pretty much it was a WrestleMania rematch. Ryder Hawkins versus the Revival. Revival. And man, what, uh, that was a big shocker. But and then again, it's kind of like predictable. So, they make him. They make him lose, 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 and then WrestleMania comes. They win, and here's another thing: they win again tonight. Yeah, Ryder Bear rolled up for the win. Yeah, how how ridiculous is that? And then, of course, the next segment is uh, Baron Corbin. He's just pretty much talking about how he won. He deserves a medal. And Krangle shows up and. He gets uh, uh, Corbin the angle slam, and then out of the blue, out of nowhere, Lars Sullivan's music comes out, and he shows up. He sta stands in the middle of the ring, stares at Kurt Angle, and attacks Kurt Angle. Yep. So after so many months not seeing him, he finally shows up. Yeah, Lars Sullivan. Then we get Alexa Bliss coming out, and she challenges... she. Basically, put a cha open challenge to either Sasha or Bailey, one of them, to face the, uh, face her tonight. And Bailey's the one that accepted it. And Lex Bliss, Bliss actually wins. Yeah. And then the segment with Becky Lynch. But wait, since she beat Bailey, does that mean she qualifies to challenge them for their tag titles? Uh, since she pinned the champ. She, they're not champions. Wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, that's right. My brain's all frizzed. Ah, WrestleMania that Iconics right. won. Oh, yeah. Now that, that was an iconic match. Yeah. Now, but then again, Bailey and Sasha could go for um for their rematch, but wouldn't that still count? Well, anyway, now it's Becky Lynch. She comes out. She's saying we did it. Becky two belts. She always finds a way to win. If and she has a message for all the all the young upstart and all the women in the locker room saying, you know, she's ready for a fight. And out comes Lacey Evans. Well, before that, she was telling if Rousey still hears her and she still wants some more, she'll still be there to slap her head off. And same with Charlotte. That I just basically said all that in a nutshell. All the women in the locker room. But, but we already know that... Um, we're not going to see Rhonda. Yeah. And then Lace, Lacey, um... Lacey Evans shows Evans. up. And she goes and walks right up to, um, Becky Lynch. She gives her the woman's right, a punch right to the face, and then she walks out. Uh-uh. Becky ain't having that. So they start going at it right there, and basically they had to have referees separate, uh, uh, Becky. Yeah. So... 
hopefully we get a match. But then again, next week is the shakeup, so yeah, superstar shakeup. So it's like who's going to Raw and who's going to SmackDown. Mm-hmm. Next match was a tag match. It was Ricochet versus Alistair Black. No, Ricochet and Alistair Black versus oh, Bob, hey. Bobby and Gable. I messed that up. <laughs> <sighs> see, 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 see. Well, anyways, Ricky Shane Black win, but uh, but Rune and Gable are such are such poor, sore losers. They start attacking them. Yeah, because they they won't try to get their win back up. But no. Nope. And here's the thing. Here's right here. Last time we ever gonna see Dean Ambrose. Um, 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 um. <laughs> Last match. This is the last match we ever see Dean Ambrose, and it didn't even happen. It didn't even happen. He was supposed to go against Bobby Lashley. And this is what happened. Bobby, before he goes into the ring, goes, Don't worry, Dean. When you leave, I'll ha- take care of your wife. And, and he got this- pissed off and attacked him all over. And he ends up going near the announce table area. But he, um, he got... Interrupted by um, Leo Rush and then making Lashley spear him and power slam through the announce table. So, bye bye, Dean. That's the last time I'm ever going to see you. But at a, there was an exclusive that we didn't that see on, on TV. TV. It was uh, a little shield moment with Dean, Roman, and Seth after Raw ended. And they had each other. They pretty much did the sh- last shield fist and. Dean's just saying how he's thankful for the universe and whatnot, and everybody's just like, thank you, Dean. Thank you, Dean. So, pretty much it was Well, like, last time we're ever going to see him with that Vegeta receding hairline. And then, guess who else is back? Sammy Zayn! And he actually challenges, um... He pretty much, he's bad, he's like, if you miss, if you miss WrestleMania, why not just go to the Raw after WrestleMania? And then he just pretty much wants a match. Yeah. And then out comes Finn Balor. And it was for the Intercontinental title, too. Finn wins, and then Sammy ends up saying that he didn't miss anybody in the audience. He didn't miss the universe. He's saying that's what's wrong with the WWE. It's the fans. The fans are so toxic and all that stuff. Yeah. That was pretty much that. So, Sammy going heel. Big Wolf. He was heel last time. And then, it was Elias. And he pretty much rapped. Cause, because, if y'all don't know, or you found out, he got his ass whooped. By the doctor of thugonomics and this girl right here cheered her ass off for it because screw um hustle loyalty respect mr lunchbox cover john cena she loves thug life john cena <laughs> and that's what how we like john cena because he had the spinny belt yep and then look. let's see he tried to do a rap but the uh but he ends up saying that the next person who interrupts him is a dead man, and I was like, "Wait, we're gonna see Undertaker." And what did you say? No, what did you say? What did I say? You said, "You, you open your mouth, Justin, and look what happens." And the Undertaker shows up, and we see Elias is there, pissing his pants, and he's gonna like try to walk out the ring, and he's like this, he's like mid between the ropes, and he's going. Okay, I know I don't want to do this because I'm going to die, but I'm sick and tired of people interrupting. So, do I walk out the ro- uh, walk out the ring like a bitch, or do I go and get my ass beaten? And he was going to attack the Undertaker. He got a big boot to the face, a choke slam, and then he got tombstone. And, well, like you said, Undertaker looked really old. Now he's his like hair, old. his long, luscious hair has now receded. So now <laughs> it's a big bald spot right here. But still, it's good to see Undertaker because we didn't see him at all at WrestleMania. No. First WrestleMania ah! went. Ah! Ow! You, 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 you. Look, this is stoic. And he's in this room because we don't want him 
peeing all over the other room, and he's going after my the um my pajama tassels. Yeah, wick. Yeah. But and then the main event of tonight. Rollins and Kofi. It was the Rollins. Winner take all. Winner takes all. And up being a DQ because of the bar. Yeah, and then Rollins is like. Well, you know what? How dare you two attack us, interrupting this match. You know what? Kofi, let's teach these guys a lesson. We'll do this another time, the winner takes all. But right now, if you're up for it, Kofi, let's go against the bar. And it ends up being Kofi and Seth versus the bar, which they end up winning. Yeah. Kofi does the SO, uh, uh, was it? The SOS? Yeah. And his then, kick, and then Rollins the, ends up doing the, um, the stomp. Yeah. Well, anyway, since we got the Raw thing, let's try her. Let's. No. Let's, yeah, with the Raw. With, with WrestleMania. But, um, that pretty much was Monday Night Raw. How did you like the Raw after WrestleMania? Do you like. Uh, do. It was. Okay. It was interesting. I mean, I mean I'm a sad because it's Dean's last match. Who cares about that? But, but they, they basically at this point they made Dean a job or so. No one. That's pretty much why Dean's leaving because he he feels like he's he, he's not like they're not using him. I mean, right. Kurt Angle's last match, we thought he was gonna win, but he actually lost. But he took his loss. So. Yeah. So. But. You know our WrestleMania thing we were watching yeah. and it was kind of. Um, hit and miss because the one thing that has been a big big time problem with WWE it feels very well predictable like well we really know this guy's gonna win because here's the thing Kofi versus Daniel Bryan we knew he's gonna win but it's like but they ended up revealing the black and gold title with the name Kofi on it the same night and then the New Day pops out t-shirts with Kofi in the middle with the, holding his belt. So to us it feels like yeah they won. Just like the um was it the million dollar challenge? The guy the one the, the one guy beat um AJ Styles and they already gave him the check with his name on it. So it's like yeah. they it's all pre planned. Like everyone knows it's script we know wrestling's scripted, but you know, could have could have let him hold the Daniel Bryan title and then uh save the shirts and stuff for Tuesday. But, or or tonight. Show them the, the show them that title. But and the T shirts. We'll see how SmackDown is tonight and whatnot. After WrestleMania, the fact that I'm after WrestleMania, and let us know how you like the Raw, and that'll be it. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.